Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god, that is so awkward. Hello, everyone. Oh my god, I'm so excited. What is up? How y'all doing? I hope you're all having a great day. And you know what I always say, honey? If you're not having a great day, well, you better get it together. Listen, y'all. I'm sorry for the last part if, like, the sound was a little low. Like, your girl didn't realize till later how low she was. And, like, I like to be loud. I like to be hype. I like to be excited. How are y'all feeling today? Uh, but anyways, so we are here for part number four of the Sims 3 Legacy Challenge. If you guys did not see the previous part, go ahead and check it out, sis, so you can know what's going on. But we went all crazy, okay? We had some dates. We met some new people, y'all. We've been dating around. We've been going a little bit crazy. Crazy. And honestly, your man is ready to settle down. He's ready to find his girl. And of course, that comes up to you guys. So right now, Trixie has actually come over because it is really, really early in the morning. And Trixie's here. And our boy is making breakfast for her. I think he's making waffles. Um, so then that way they can eat together, kind of spend some time, you know, just hanging out. And for some reason, they're on a date. Like, they literally had no romantic interactions whatsoever. But somehow they're on a date. Okay. But he's going to make her breakfast. I think that's like a cute starter thing to do. You know, it's just cute or whatever. He's a little cute. I'm just so excited to see what happens with them and all the tea and everything. But for right now, as I said, I'm going to have him make the waffles. So then that way we can have something nice in our stomachs. And oh, the repo man's coming. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Could you imagine going on a date? The repo guy just comes and like takes the furniture. Like that is so embarrassing. And you are on a date. You try to be all sexy and cute and the repo man coming to take your stove <laughs> that you use to cook the waffles. Oh my God. And it looks like Elena has a boyfriend. His name is Little Dog. His name is Little Dog Apache. Okay. Well, you know, little dog, just as long as you treat Elena right, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Anyways, I, I, but I, is his middle name dog or his, well, I guess his middle name would be dog. His first name would be little. So technically his first, his whole, his name is little Apache. I, okay. Anyways, let's um hope for, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's just go ahead and. Um, I was gonna have him take care of this toilet, but honestly, I kind of want to get her out of here before the repo man comes because that's like super embarrassing, but it's <laughs> raining pretty bad. So I don't really know where we could go. Um, I was thinking about maybe dropping an arcade in here because unfortunately there isn't like an arcade-ish type of lot and we could go to the club. I just don't want to go in anywhere outside because I don't want to deal with the repercussions of the leg, okay? So I'm trying to figure out if there's like a bowling alley or something here, but there's not. There's not like any type of arcade. And I don't feel like exiting, okay, to go find one and add one in. So maybe after this part, I'll add one in. And maybe we can go to the arcade with Francis. But for now, I guess I don't know where I could have them go then. Ooh, look at them. They look so cute. Okay, let's go ahead and have him... Um, let's just be friendly and chat with her, I guess. I don't want to do anything too romantic just yet, but it is very tempting. Okay, maybe I could just flirt just a little bit. Just uh, flirt just a little bit. Okay. Wait, she has a boyfriend? <gasps> she has a boyfriend? Ooh, let's ask her to break up with him. <laughs> Get rid of him, girl. He needs to go. Okay, I'm sorry, but he needs to go. He just does. Um, but she looks really, really cute also just adding that in but anyways um can we can we get rid of the boyfriend just asking girl just asking for a friend uh she seems pretty receptive to it which is nice so i'm pretty sure that she's gonna leave him you know you're right things between me and eden are just not great because he's just not as good as no i'm <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's probably the sweetest man. And first off, his name is not Eden. It's Eldon. I'm so sorry, Eldon. What is his name? What's his last name? I'm pretty sure he hates us now because we got um his um girlfriend to break up with him. But I don't really know. So anyways, I'm going to have them come over here and just play with this thingy. I don't I'm not going to embarrass myself if I call it the wrong thing. So I'm just going to just going to say nothing. Anyways, we're going to play with it. 
and I really want to add in like a bowling alley or some kind of arcade. I have to. I was going to pre-record a bunch of videos, um, so I may have to go to like the Crossleys or like one of the series that I record and see if I can find an arcade from that series. And filling up on sugary go goodness makes everything more fun. We are going to astound her. Astound her, girl. Let's get it, girl. Date number 106. <laughs> Day number 226, girl. All right. Ooh, let's play darts later. That looks like fun. Also, I just love how they're kind of glowing low-key, honestly. Um, can y'all hurry up? Because honestly, I don't want to sit here and watch y'all play this all day. <laughs> like, no offense, girl. Like, it sounds great. But, like, I... I ain't interested okay but um anyways they are doing their thing it looks like he's getting stuck girl really really boo you had to do this to me Cameron really oh girl are you about to get in a fight T this girl's ruining our day can you go away no no offense girly like love you love your dress you look amazing but I'm just saying like I like, not right now. <laughs> We're trying to have a date. Wait, where can we go? Let's go. Let's go. Woo -hoo. No, I'm kidding. That would be. Could you imagine if we got a little tips? Ooh, that'd be tea. Wait, hold up, y'all. Let's go ahead and order a drink. Um, let's get Trixie a um a drink since she's talking to Molly. I'll let I'll let them talk, you know. Yeah, it ruined our date a little bit, but yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna let them talk and he's gonna go grab her a drink like the gentleman he so tries to be um, But yeah, we're gonna go get her a drink and then hopefully after that I wonder what Ian's up to he's probably at home playing with Zeke honestly That's usually what he does during the day if he's not at work, which I don't even remember guys We need to go see Aspen like I want to see Aspen and everybody I am gonna post an update picture at some point of like Riley and all of them but I want to do all their outfits and the whole shebang so you guys will be seeing that on the community page or on my instagram i don't really know yet i don't really know but um for right now molly mole is really pretty like you're really pretty and i love your dress girl did you just leave your wedding because that's that would be iconic okay anyways um let's go ahead and just wait I'm really excited. Speaking of weddings, I'm so excited for Cameron to get married. I'm so excited for the bachelor party. That's going to be exciting. We have got to have a bachelor party and our wedding before Ross dies. Like, it just has to happen. Also, our phone is going off, but we can't answer it because we're getting alcohol. So, we're going to get our drinks. But anyways, yeah, I really want to get married. I really want to have our first child before ross and selena pass away like that is my ultimate goal because i feel like they need to see that and it'd be really cute so it would be like a generation seeing another generation and i would just live i have to so anyways he is grabbing the drinks here i don't know how what has been wrong with me but like lately i have just been craving a nice margarita like it just sounds so good like even pictures of margaritas i'm like that just looks so good it just looks so good i don't know if it's just the consistency or what it is because i don't like regular slushies which is kind of what a margarita like the consistency reminds me of um i don't really like slushies that much i know i know unless it's banana flavored i'm just not a fan which is crazy because i don't like actual bananas that's tea okay i'm just going on a tangent anyways let's go ahead and chat with trixie a little bit more she's going in for another drink She's she's not hesitating, sis. She needs that extra extra pick me up. And speaking of which, we stank, which is not cute on our date. But maybe if we can kind of get the ball rolling, let's just give her some red flowers. Because I think right after this, we are probably going to go see uh who is it? Francis. Which sounds really bad. Like you're literally going from one date to another. If this was real life you a dog okay but since this is sims it's okay <laughs> he, he's young you know he's experimenting i mean selena did the same thing so it's fine it's fine we're gonna just give her a friendly hug and also let's see what we can do we're gonna compliment her appearance and i haven't really been responding to the deep conversation as much sometimes i'll respond sometimes i won't just so you know. Oh, and it looks like Trixie's a snob. She's a snob? Hmm. I mean, okay. 
that's okay. <laughs> Listen, y'all know how I feel. I like to have my Sims to have at least, oh, speaking of which, hello. <laughs> Sirs in the back. <laughs> Mr. Will Wright and Frankie, hello. Y'all look y'all kind of kind of fun okay anyway y'all i'm a mess in the morning okay so trixie is a snob which y'all know that usually with my sims i like to give them one bad trait so i feel like that is a good thing but also she gonna have keys you know so i don't know i don't know i don't know um i still want the mother to be nice but maybe i don't know you guys i don't know we could just have like a one night stand with trixie and then have actual kids with Francis, that would be tea. <laughs> but I don't see Cameron doing that just because of the kind of like sim that I kind of made him to be. I feel like he's very family oriented and he takes that from Selena. Um, maybe one of his kids would do that, which would be crazy, but I don't really see that coming from Cameron just because of how he is. But who knows, it would be a uh, craziness. Why is there just cute men surrounding me? I'm feeling a little bit like, claustrophobic i think it's trixie like or maybe it's this girly right here oh my gosh oh girl what is going on okay but yeah so anyways i think i'm gonna have him go home because we need to end this day i'm sorry trixie really loved it really fun um it looks like it was a great date of course it was our our dude like he's the date master are you kidding me he makes selena look like look like nothing because selena was a queen of dating like she was really good at you know her dates and whatnot but like cameron's really pulling out the stocks y'all he, he's really pulling out them cards so anyways i think in the next part well i kind of want to go now but i don't want to add the arcade in y'all i'm so lazy y'all i need to stop being so lazy <sighs> i can't help myself okay i will be right back i'm gonna go and add in a arcade or something fun that we can do with Miss, uh, what's her name again? Uh, Francis. So our boy is about to get prepared to take a shower for his hopefully next date. I'm hoping that, you know, this date, that we good, okay? But um, Ian's in the bathroom and he won't move out of the way. So I don't really know what we gonna do. Um, he's taking a, a little bit to, you know, move out of the way. So I don't really know. Will you get out the bathroom, dude? Do I need to reset you? I think I do because you're not following my instruction. Um, but yeah, I need Cameron to go ahead and take a quick shower. So then that way we can invite over Francis to the pier, which I did add in the Navy Pier. So we have a little bit of a lot to go to and hang out at. So I'm going to go ahead and invite her over. And I'm hoping... Then she says yes. I'm really also hoping that the pier is open. I don't know, but we'll see because it's kind of late. So we may just have to end up going to a club or something because those are usually the only places that are open so late. But I guess we shall see. I think it should function as a festival. I don't really know, but hurry up, girl. We ain't got all day. We got stuff to do. Let's go ahead and change into your every day. And I think we should be able to invite Francis there. And then I will see you guys whenever we get to the pier. Oh my God, you guys, this is so awkward. We literally just got to Navy Pier and Trixie is here. That is so awkward. Okay, so yeah, we are here at Navy Pier with Francis. And look how fancy she looks. Like she looks like she is just going out on a night on the town. Um, but I'm really excited to spend some time with her. So I think what we're going to do is we are just going to, um, oh, there's, what is going on? Trixie is literally following us. <gasps> what is happening? <gasps> oh my God. Oh, oh my God. That is so awkward. <gasps> Oh my God. Oh, okay. 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 Trixie, you're going to have to go away. Like, I'm sorry, but like, no, no, sis, go away. Uh, we're going to have to compliment, compliment Francis's appearance before. Um, I don't know if that's going to like make Trixie upset. Well, maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe we should just like focus on hanging out with her and like having fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them do a, 
arcade hoops contest and he really really wants to kiss Trixie but at the same time I think it's kind of weird that she just kind of showed up here I don't know like literally she's following us everywhere we go <gasps> that is so creepy like that's kind of weird everywhere we go <sighs> you know we just can't enjoy our little date she had to follow us it's fine you know whatever but um, they look so cute. Look how cute they look. I just love how they mesh well together. And I live. But yeah, so they are playing basketball. Hopefully we can find something that she won't follow us to because I just don't even understand. Also, there's no bartenders here, which is kind of sad, but whatever. Um, Hopefully there are a couple of things. I don't really know all the things we can do together because... There's not a lot like everything we kind of have to do on our own, unfortunately, and just kind of interact with her. But because um, I really want to take the Ferris wheel and like we can't do that with with her. We can't force her to take it, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. But I'm going to go ahead and tell a funny story. So we're just kind of talking and it looks like <laughs> it looks like she left. So uh, that's. Pretty nice. So we're going to go ahead and compliment Francis's appearance now that Trixie is gone because that was just such an awkward situation. I can't. Such a disaster day after that. It just kind of ruined the mood. But we are going to also give her some fl ah, I don't remember the color that we gave our other girly, but I feel like it's kind of rude to like give Trixie like the same color as the one that we gave Francis. like that's just kind of uh kind of bad so we're just being a nice guy and trying to still stay in the friend zone with both of them and while also being a little bit flirtatious like enjoying our little date so we are gonna do a couple of other things I mean can we really do anything together I wish I could get her like force her to do stuff with me we could, I don't know, none of this stuff is open. Um, I wish I could control her, I wanna control her so bad. Okay, um, maybe we could do like a water balloon fight. I don't really know why we would do that on Navy Pier, but I just feel like it'd be a funny thing to do. So we are just going to start a water balloon fight on Navy Pier because it sounds like a good idea. And it's cute or whatever, so. Um, I heard Julia Malcolm was caught woohooing at the police department. Oh, girl, that is not cute. <gasps> oh, oh, look what you did. Why'd you do that? Oh, the pain. Oh, this guy in the background. Hey, boo. I really enjoy being your friend. Oh, you're my BFF. Can we just talk about the fact that it's almost one in the morning and we are still at the pier? Like, it's ridiculous. We are just spending time with this girl and having the time of our lives, like, just enjoying every moment and it's so crazy that he wants to kiss both of them like I still can't get over it I want to do something but like there's nothing really that we can do for the both of us where like I ha wouldn't have to control her I guess I should say so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have him order both of us a couple drinks if we can do that can we do that we would have to just buy around oh wait no we can get one for sim and then we'll get the spotlight polish and we'll get one for Francis. I don't know why I like in my head was not seeing the option, but it was literally right in front of my face, girl. Like that just tells you it's too early, okay? But anyways, we are just having them talk for a bit and then I think he is going to order her a drink, which is nice. I feel like that's so cute, you know? Just order herself a little drink, you know? Now you guys will finally be able to vote in the next part. So I'm really, really excited about that. I'm really excited to see what you guys have to say and all that sorry about the lag girl um and it seems like she is really enjoying this arcade hoops contest but he is too tired so i think what i'm gonna do is i might just end the date here because our boy is really exhausted and it seems like the date was really good it's hard to imagine that date going any better playful banter gave way to gazing into each other's eyes and oh my where did the time go girl our dude Cameron is like the king of dates. He get it. He gets it from his mama. Like, what can I say? So good morning, everyone. Even though it's not the morning, it's the afternoon. Cause our our boy obviously just doesn't know what the definition of morning is. Okay, he just likes to party and have fun. So he stays up pretty late, and I feel like it's a good thing. Maybe he'll start to develop the night owl trait or something. But I do think that 
right now. I kind of want to hang out with Serena. I was thinking about it a little bit, you know, while I was speeding through the game. And I was like, we need to hang out with a girl, Serena. It's been a little bit, and she is one of our oldest friends. And she doesn't want to hang out with us, so that's kind of disrespectful. But it's okay. You know, we'll move on. Okay, it's fine. Whatever, fine. You don't want to hang out with us? He's like... How dare you? <laughs> Let's go ahead and see if we can invite over our sister. What is going on? People are just like, girl, we don't want to spend no time with you. You just stank, okay? That is exactly what it is. Uh, yeah, Aspen doesn't want to come over. Let's, the disrespect. Who can we count on? Whoever answers the phone, we're going to marry. Let's invite over Trixie. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, and it looks like Sarita has a boyfriend named Cactus Joe. Okay, Trixie didn't answer the phone. We're not marrying you. Let's try Francis. <laughs> this is the sim gods helping us out. Watch none of them answer. That's embarrassing. Literally none of the women are who we're going to marry. See, look, none of them are coming. It's because, you know what? It's a Monday. People have jobs. They work. They do that. And our boy Cameron, unfortunately, doesn't have a job. So I think today what we'll probably have to do is just focus on inventing and getting some money today because I really do want to invest in our business and also because i added in this car for ian to work on it'll help us out financially to start our business because that's what i'm going to use the money for probably is just to start our business and uh, also can you stop can you stop ziki poo you know what i'm gonna let you tear it up only because it's not that cute because the custom content that i had just you know went away it's fine but uh yeah so he's just going to keep inventing and doing all that fun stuff because obviously everybody's at work. Now, he did want to give a gift to Francis, and I kind of have an idea for whoever y'all decide in part number five who you want us to be with. I have like a cute little date sort of idea that involves a cute little gift that y'all will see. It's going to be cute. I'm very excited. So I can't wait to see what you guys have to say in part five on who you want to see. I don't know if I'm going to do a YouTube poll or if I'm going to do a separate link. I feel like a YouTube poll might be easier. Ooh, girl, you are just crafting. Okay, let's go. Let's keep going. I really like this. Because we have this one over here. So we'll just put our little crafts in our kitchen. Because that's the only real space that we have. Until we can get like some type of shelf or something. Also with Ian living with us. It's really been helping us financially. I kind of feel bad just like taking his car. But hey boo. It's our rent. Not kidding. <laughs> just kidding. But um, it'll be really helpful. And also we'll help him work on the car too. Since like he obviously does have experience with that. Because of his mom. Oh my God, that happened out of nowhere. What? For all the things you be doing to them women, okay? Dating a bunch of women at the same time. They punishing you, Cameron. You're just too good. You're just too spicy. Okay, let's go ahead and take a shower really quick because he looks a mess. Let's just uh, take a shower. You're just having a little bit of, you know, a disaster right now. You need to shower. Also, we definitely need to pay our bills before the repo man comes back and is like, hey, girl, no, we need to pay them bills because I'm not about to get our stuff taken again on our date. Could you imagine if we were proposing to our future wife and, like, the repo man comes in and is like, ooh, let me steal your couch. That would be so awkward. Anyways, let's go ahead and replace this for 225 simoleons. Oh, my God. Okay. We need to get, like, well, I mean, I have little toys. The only thing is that with the little ones, you actually have to, like, take out the toys. So I'm just going to take all of them out. So then that way he's able to play, I think. Is that how it works? Yeah, he can chew this one. I forgot this is for a cat. Whatever. Whatever. And Zeke should be aging soon. Yeah, he ages in two days. I'm super excited. I can't wait for him to be a, a bigum. And, uh, yeah, he's going to go ahead and pay his $80 bills. That sounds so nice. And then we're also going to take a quick shower because that's what we do. Let's go ahead and do that. And our house is kind of a mess. Um, that's what happens when you've got two young adult men living here. And it looks like Trixie is a doctor. Okay. Okay. Well, if we marry you, you'll have to quit your job, unfortunately, because of the legacy. Uh it's gonna be so hard i don't know what also which is something that i need to think about is what his wife is going to do as well like if he's doing the whole inventing thing what's something that she could do 
to kind of continue that like not really having a career but i've done the gardening skill so many times and i love it i'm obsessed with it but i did it so much with felicity austin i kind of want to steer clear of those and do more different things so i don't know i guess it depends on the sims traits and stuff i don't know but anyways we'll go ahead and put away the dishes here and then we need to unclog this toilet girl because it is not cute not cute at all girl I want to get a car, but we can't afford it. So we're just going to have to deal with what we can deal with. We got to save our finances for when we propose to our wife. But yeah, go ahead and clean this toilet real quick because it's not looking cute. We need to unclog it and then we also need to clean it. And I'm thinking since it is four o'clock, somebody's got to be off. Like somebody has got to not be at work right now. Someone, somebody's got to be a chef, you know, because the chefs, I think, no, the chefs work late. What's the career where, like, they get off real early? I don't remember. But there's some careers where they get off real early. And it looks like Trixie has already found a man. That's why sometimes story progression is kind of annoying because I don't. Sometimes I'm like, girl. But I just love it so much I can't get rid of it. So it looks like they're just flirty, flirty, though, that they're not actually partners. But I really wanted to invite Serena out somewhere because she's the person that I've been wanting to hang out with. But she's been busy. So we're going to try and see if she is available right now. And I'm thinking, I don't want to bring her back to Navy Pier. And we already went to the festival. So maybe let's just go to the park. I feel like that's a very basic place to go. But you know what, girl? We basic today. Why does everybody hate me? Literally nobody wants to go out with me. <laughs> let's, um, all right. Let's just try inviting people over. I feel like that is a middle ground. At this point, we might just have to hang out with our brother. Not saying that's a bad thing. Love our brother. But we'd much rather, you know, go out. <laughs> and nobody's available. And nobody's available. So we may have the result to going out with her brother, going to the clubs, seeing what's out there. And that might actually be... Oh! Okay. Trixie is available. All right. Fine. But we could still take our brother. Like, we could go out with Trixie and our brother. Because Trixie's the only one that's available. I don't know what's going on. I really want to give Serena a fair chance because she still is like a runner in the race. Is it a runner in the race? I don't know. But she be working and she's busy and I can't get her ever. So, and she also has a boyfriend now. His name is Cactus. I don't know what's up with that, but okay. Anyways, Trixie, hurry up, girl. We ain't got all day. And I'm going to go ahead and just invent a couple of other things. While he's not like a mess right now, we are going to try to invent and then definitely have Ian go with us. I think we're going to go to the park. There's a bird outside my window. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, I think we're going to go to the park, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. I don't know. This part is going to be so long, can I just mention? Because we are literally going on another date. How many dates have we been on in this part? Two? Three? Two? I don't know. Anyways, um, the bird's like, hey, girl. <laughs> She's trying to introduce herself. But yeah, I'm just going to have him continue to invent and hopefully Trixie will be on her way. It looks like Cameron has improved his inventing skill to level three, girl. Okay, we is just killing it right now. We are killing it. Are you kidding me? Where is Trixie? Girl, we ain't got all day. It'd be so much better if you didn't ditch us. Like, oh, okay, there she is. <laughs> I was like, I was about to get real hurt. Okay, let's go ahead and go to... So I think we're going to go to the park because that seems like a very good just chill relaxed vibe or we could go to the club i mean it's 7 p.m so i feel like the club is a very nice place to go i'm so sorry about the bird you guys there's nothing i can do at this point if you hear him i'm sorry I'm sorry okay he wants to be included um let's just do the disco club because it's open till 4 a.m and we could take trixie and ian together and we can all have a good grand old time but i really do wish that we were able to hang out with Serena. Okay, I Just, know I told y'all that I don't change their other outfits, and I usually don't. As I said, this outfit was a mess that she had on. I had to change it, because I was like, I couldn't even look at it. At least Francis's wasn't that bad. Trixie's was a mess, so I changed hers up. She looks a little bit different, and uh, yeah, because with the fall coming up, they need to be, you know, stunning. Okay. Oh, also, she's very cute. Hey, Naomi. But yeah, so I am. I think it's actually funny that Trixie was the only one available. <laughs> like, I think it's so funny. So we're gonna compliment her personality and um, stuff like that. But let's see what's going on at 
over here. Where's our brother at? Where did he go? I thought he was supposed to go clubbing with us. Did he not show up? Because that's kind of disrespectful. Where did you go, Ian? I don't even see him. Oh, well. I've given up on him. It's okay. Maybe he just didn't want to come. But we're going to go ahead and get her a drink. <laughs> Classic Cameron move. Um, oh, and it looks like Bryce's son is here. His name is Milton. I actually want to get Cameron some more friends. And I really wanted to develop a friendship with Keenan Because I don't think that we're friends. Um, but I think that maybe getting... Or, no, I think we... I don't know. I think we were trying to be friends with Keenan And it just didn't work. But um, I definitely want him to have more friends. But we're going to go ahead and order her a drink. Oh, I'm not excited for the lag that winter brings, but you know what? I am prepared. I am ready. I have my little list of things that I shall do to help us out. And she said that I really enjoy being your friend. And I'm going to say you're my best friend, girl, because she is. She's everything. And she's going to hug us. Oh, that's so cute. Wait, I thought we were getting a drink, girl. I thought we were getting a drink. Like, that's what I thought the focus of this was. I guess not. I guess we're giving her a hug. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. That's so cute. I oh, I just love both of them. Like, I love... Well, I love Serena, too. I just love all the girls. Period. Period. Okay? Um, Why are we trying to leave? You're my BFF, okay? Oh, fight. <laughs> um, We're just gonna say whatever. I don't know. We're gonna fight her for saying that we're... That we're best friends. That's so hilarious. We're gonna also just do a little bit of a... Can we dance or something, girl? Can we do a little bit of a jive? I guess we ain't getting her a drink because uh, he w really wasn't feeling that move. But there's Milton. He is so cute. He looks so much like his dad. Like, it's ridiculous. He's so cute. <laughs> Could you imagine? I'm actually very happy that Rosa and Bryce ended up together. I just feel like they're perfect together and their kids are beautiful. However... Could you imagine? Bryce would have made some beautiful babies because he is a very attractive man. But um, Rose is very beautiful as well. So they just, their kids just amazing. Uh, but yeah, so they're just dancing, twerking, getting it down. Why is there a cop in the background? It, oh, he ain't a cop. <laughs> he looked like a cop. His jacket, uh, a mess, girl, a mess. Your pants, you need to change them. Okay, but yeah, so everybody is just getting down. I wonder what Iris has been up to. We haven't really been able to hang out with her either, especially after finding out that she's pregnant. Um, I wonder if she had her baby. Did she have her baby? I don't know, but she's pregnant um, and also married, so that was awkward. And Serena has also increased her... Oh, she's, she's an athlete. So yeah, she probably gets off really early then. Or really late, really early. Uh, she probably gets off really late every day. So that's why we haven't been able to hang out with her, which is kind of sad. I wish we could hang out with her. I kind of want to invite her here. I mean, technically... Oh, yeah, this is a date. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah, maybe I, should, maybe I shouldn't invite uh, Serena. I feel like that's just asking for trouble. Oh, and Aspen is an athlete, too. I never would have thought that Aspen would have been... Well, she was a cheerleader. I guess I could say that. Okay. I could give her that. She was a cheerleader. But um, anyways, so... We're going to go ahead and just kind of get to know. Ooh, girl, this music. Not cute, girl. We need to change this. This is a no. Let's do a little bit of hip-hop. Because I like that song, Speakers Going with Bama, 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 Bama. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. There it is, y'all. I love this song. <laughs> this is my favorite. Okay, I don't want to get, like, <laughs> in trouble. Because I feel like I am. Because, you know. But yeah, it's one of my favorite songs in The Sims. Like, I'm just obsessed. Or in The Sims 3. Sims 3 just had a really good set list to me or their music. I mean, Sims 2 had a better better music, period. There was Paramore on there. You can't even argue. But I really love Sims 3 music as well. It's very good. Um, even my sister, like, she is a Sims 4 stan. And she was like, the music in The Sims 3 is so much better. Which is crazy. I didn't, I don't know. Because y'all have hot in here by Nelly. And like, I love Nelly. Just saying. Anyways, um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them go to dinner because I feel like they need to eat. And also, we are kind of nearing the end of this part because it is getting pretty late. I feel kind of bad because we have been hanging out with Trixie a lot and not really focusing on the other girls. But they're all busy, I guess, you know? you know but let me know in the comments down below who you're liking the most so far girl some of y'all are like Trixie 
and Francis. No, we gotta pick. <laughs> so let me know in the comments down below. Um, y'all, what is she doing? She is twerking with this man right here. Anyways, um, let me know what you guys think down below, like, or if you don't mind. I mean, I feel like a lot of you would be fine with whoever. I feel like y'all are kind of like me where you just like everybody, but we're gonna go ahead and go to dinner and i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna end this part right on here i think it is only right because girl if not this part is gonna be 50 million parts so we just gotta end it right on here anyways you guys i hope you all enjoyed leave me all your opinions all your comments all your feedback and all that stuff down below let me know the tea let me know everything i really love hearing y'all's comments on this series in particular i feel like y'all are so interactive with this series and it just it's the tea okay y'all look crazy okay anyways so yes leave some comments let me know which girl y'all like the best and who you're kind of feeling and you know give me some ideas for like our proposal and like the wedding i feel like cam is just the type of dude to just go all out like he's just a date kind of guy he just is very like romantic i feel like that's his selena side you know and i want to have a little fun with that so let give me all your y'all's opinions all your tea all your date ideas everything like that down below anyways you guys i love you all so 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 very much i hope you all have an amazing rest of your week and i will see you all very very soon with another new video bye guys secret, yeah i promise i keep it I'll see